Hi and welcome to Britain of Fuckwit Play Part 10 of Shovel Knight. This is Shovel Knight. Turn the volume to 11 because we're having a party. Party! So you're the Red Knight. I am. I'm the, the Red Knight. Were you red in the last video, Nathan? Yeah, I've been red for like four or five videos. You're using that awesome Battletoads armor, right? No. I know, I'm just joking. Because the Battletoads armor is awful. So where are we at? This is the... Uh, uh, it's like Propeller Knight? I don't know. It's a... It's a... Uh, it's a... A blimp, basically. I like blimps. Uh, I don't, because they involve a lot of bottomless pits. Some of my the best moments in my life have happened on blimps. Are you from like nineteen fifteen? That's like blimp time, right? I'm from Doctor Who. Have you ever even watched an episode of Doctor Who? Yeah, I saw one episode and they had blimps. <laughs> That's literally the only episode of Doctor Who to ever have blimps in. Well, I just assume all episodes have blimps since that's the one I saw. Nope, just that one. There, there's like 50 blimps. Yep, just that episode. So, they really wasted their blimp budget. <laughs> yep. I didn't really think that one out. No, they, they were going to have blimps in other episodes, but then they realized that they used all the blimps for that episode, so they couldn't. Jeez. Vindic vindictive blimps. Yep. What is Doctor Who about? It's about a dude who travels through time and space. Is he the Doctor? He is. So why are there 18 Doctors? Because he's an alien. And his his species of alien, when they, uh, when they take a lot of damage, you know, when they're about to die, they can do this thing called regeneration, where they basically turn into a new person. So it's just a convenient way to keep the series going. Yeah. Whenever they want to change. Yeah, if like an actor wants to leave, they can just regenerate him into a new one. So he only really takes damage whenever an actor's contract is up. Yeah, or an actor wants to leave, or to spice up the story, or whatever. People watch us. Yeah. Is it any good? Uh... Yeah, I've kind of gone off it. I, I watched. I've been watching it since the reboot, and then the last couple of seasons, I've been slowly like falling out of it. So, I don't really watch it anymore. I haven't watched any of the, like the last season. I know but, there's like aliens called the, the the T loss or something. No. It's pretty close. No. Isn't there something called the the Talios or something? No. Typhoon. No. Say some Doctor Who words. Time Lords. No. Uh, Daleks. What does he? What does he write? What's What's up with the the phone booth? The TARDIS. Yes, TARDIS. That's that's the phone booth. That's his time machine. Okay, that's what I was thinking of. I know that word. Kind of. Did you though? You said Telos. Isn't that Isn't that from like some robot? Japanese game. Sounds better than Tardis. Tardis. T A R D I S. No, I think that's the. I think you're thinking of the. Uh, the David Bowie album. Ziggy Tardis. No, that's Ziggy Stardust. <laughs> People don't know this, but uh, David Bowie was a big Doctor Who fan. <laughs> was he? Yeah. He actually played the the Doctor in one of the movie spinoffs. No, we didn't. Yes, he did. Okay, there's only been one movie, and it wasn't David Bowie. This is a spinoff. This is not the reboot. This is the original series. Yeah, the movie's from the original series. It was called the David reboot, Bowie Meets reboot, the Doctor. The reboot, the reboot hasn't had a movie. It's uh, it's rare. It doesn't exist. You, what it's, you're talking about doesn't it's exist. It's a spinoff. It's like... They they try to they try to really keep it out of the modern who history the who whoery. Shut because, up. No no it's like the Star Wars Christmas special. 
They've written it out of existence. I'm sick of you talking. But I've given you the gift of knowledge. You've given me the gift of bullshit, which is a gift you give me fairly often. You're welcome. At least you recognize it's a gift. Yeah, of bullshit. Would you, would you watch that, though? No. You wouldn't watch something with David Bowie as the doctor? Probably not. Seriously? Yeah. Who would you rather have be the doctor? I don't know. Like, name five British people. Why? I bet you can't. David Tennant, Matt Smith, Peter Capaldi, uh... Are these all doctors? <laughs> three of them, yeah. Can so we get uh, non-Doctor Who British people? Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. That's not a real person. Real names, please. <laughs> yes, it is. He's the guy who plays Sherlock. Oh, yeah, that is his name. Huh. Yeah. And, you know, so, the guy who writes, uh, who... Who made the new Sherlock, you know, the guy who, like, writes it and stuff? Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. No, like, the, the TV show. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle Jr. No. He's the guy who does... The Doctor Who TV show at the minute. Wait, what? Yeah, so the guy who does Sir Doctor Arthur Conan Doyle does the Doctor Who show? <laughs> no, he's dead. Is the he? Guy... <laughs> I'm pretty sure. What about his son? Is he dead too? I don't know if he has a son. It's the grandson's great legacy of creating Sherlock. No, right. The guy who does the TV show. Okay, who what if... Now, no, no, hold on here for a minute. What if Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's grandson got ha, is doing elementary and not the Sherlock show? What if he fucked up and chose the wrong Sherlock show to produce? To be fair, he probably did. I also forgot that was a thing until you brought it back up. I yep. forgot America tried to do a Sherlock. Fucking Lucy Liu's in that, Yeah, right? Lucy Liu's Watson. She's the sexiest <laughs> yeah. Watson. I proof. I watched like half an episode of that and was really confused. I've never seen it, I but like, I, I do like Lucy. I was Lucy like, where are the British people? Alright, so, so the guy who does, who did Sherlock. Yeah, well, does no, Doctor the, Who. technically he did Doctor Who first. Okay. Uh, so, you know, uh, when, when one of the Doctors regenerated recently in the reboot, they got a new head writer in as well. So and regenerated guy, writers. Yeah, the regenerated writers. And that guy also does Sherlock. Oh, so he's doing double duty. Yep, that's why Sherlock only comes out once every three years. Ah. Just like the Brady Bunch. Sure, why not? Do you ever watch the Brady Bunch? No, I have no idea what you're well, talking about. That's great, about. now I can lie a bunch about the Brady Bunch. Um... You know I have the internet, right? I can just look it up. Can you? Yeah. Let me tell you the story of a man named Brady. Literally, I'm going to... As soon as you start actually explaining something, I'm going to look it up. I'm going to go off memory. Okay. Should I look it up and tell you sure. if you're right? So, there's a guy. Hang on. Mr. Brady. Hang on. And he meets a, he meets a woman. Hang on. I don't know her last name, but they get married. Then she's Mrs. Brady. And each of them have three kids from past marriages. I guess their essays died or something. I don't know. They probably, like, killed each other's lovers so they could right. be together. Keep going. In the greater Brady fiction. Um, so the male guy, the father, he has three sons of various right. ages. Right. And then the female, the mother, she has three daughters of various ages. Correct. And this is, from what I'm reading of the premise, you are speaking the truth so far. They're like they're like ages like seven, twelve, and fifteen, something like that. It doesn't say anything about ages. It just says names and. Ah. So the youngest girl, I think her name's Lucy. Uh. Nope. Florence. Nope. Garfunkel. <laughs> no, absolutely not. What's her What's her name? Uh, well, there's three daughters Susie? here. The youngest girl. Susie? Cindy? There's a Cindy. I know that Marsha's the oldest. Yeah, there's a Marsha, a Jan, and a Cindy. 
Cindy's the youngest. All right. So Jan's the middle female, and then Marsha's the popular one. Okay. And then there's this one episode where Marsha's nose gets broken. By the way, in the game at the minute, because remember there's a game playing, uh, the screen is pushing me towards the left. The game is pushing me left. So you have to, you know, push right a bit to stay still. And, uh, they have a maid. Uh, the maid is called Alice Bertha. Nelson. And she's, she's fucking a, a meat guy. I mean, who isn't? I think. I don't know. Winky face. But anyhow, she's always having, having issues being a maid. And uh, that's the show. Oh, there's no, also three kids. You've got the dog. The three boys. Yeah, they do have a dog. But nobody cares about the boys. Everybody just cares about Marsha. Can you name the the dog? Sonny. The dog is called Tiger. What? Yeah. But it's a dog, not a cat. I'm just reading what the fucking Wikipedia article says. Are you sure it wasn't vandalized? Uh, I don't think so. What madman would name a dog Tiger? Well, it's the boys' dog, so you know what boys are like. They love taggers and... Taggers and... Now it's pushing you up. Now it's pushing you down. Oh, uh, yeah, it pushes, it pushes down and up. This is crazy. Yeah, this level's a bit of a bitch. Uh-oh. Ah, you saved yourself. Nice play. This yeah, is expert... I know where I'm going. Just expert level flight, Nathan. I'm impressed. <laughs> nice jump. Well, it was pushing me down, so I didn't jump very high. Classic Hambridge. So now it's pushing me really far right. Uh-oh. The leaves, the leaves obviously show you which direction you're being pushed in. I'm surprised you're not dying here. Well, I died like really. I, while we were talking, I died like four or five times. But yeah, Freddy Brunch isn't especially good. They did this weird movie where they kind of like mocked themselves. But it was creepy. I think they had like the daughter, the oldest daughter and the oldest boy date or something. Or they kept suggesting that they were having sexual relations. They're not blood, like, but still. Weird. So, by the way, this is Propeller Knight. I am a knight with a propeller on my head. No, he has a French accent. Oi, I am Mansour. Oui, oui, a French, a French. My ship, it was, mag- it was not magnificent. Thank God. So let's see if you can beat this guy in one one take. Uh, I'm trying to remember if I do or not. Seem to be doing well so far. Doesn't seem yep. too difficult so far. Uh, wait for it. Uh oh. Yeah, and he will sometimes stop at the sides, drop down, and yeah, let's see, he pushes you. Tricky guy. Uh... Those French people. So tricksy. Look, he dropped a rose. Well, that was easy. Yeah. Just that good. I am that good. I feel like that might have been the easiest boss fight in, in quite a bit. Probably. The, the level was levels didn't even seem that tricky you got through it pretty easily well like I said I died a lot while we were talking and probably weren't paying attention oh I was glued on the screen I uh I distracted you with my Doctor Who knowledge please and my uh my Sherlock knowledge my Brady Bunch knowledge You didn't even remember the dog's name. What did, does tell me the name of the dog in Sherlock? That's because there isn't one. He has a fucking basset hound. 
No, he doesn't. Yes, he fucking does. He doesn't in fucking Doctor Who writer canon. Well, let me tell you what. Then that show sucks. Because Sherlock oh. is nothing without his trusty Basset Hound. He has a Watson. What if... Instead of having Watson, they just had the dog, and they named the dog Watson. I'd watch that. That'd Did make you... a good like, kids cartoon. Is Watson a doctor? No. What? Wait, yeah, sorry. I th for some, I thought you said I th you said doctor, but for some reason my brain connected that to Doctor Who. So is I he... thought you meant is he like someone from Doctor Who? God. He is a doctor. Yes. Is Watson a fireman? No, he's an army doctor. So is this like a special challenge area, or...? Yeah, you... So there's a few of these around the game where you have to use one of the items you collected from one of the levels to get through the level, and for this one you need the one from Propeller Knight's level, the, uh, the Propeller Knife, which is a knife that propels you forward. That's a bad pun. You died. This the the propeller knife is my favorite item in the game of all the like different items. Just because it basically gives you like that extra jump you sort of need sometimes. I mean, you can't go upwards with it, but you can go left and right. And in this game, left and right is more important than up. just killed that skeleton pretty hardcore. Uh, that skeleton needed to die. Look at you getting all the treasure. I'm trying. Yeah, you killed him again. <laughs> I had to, when I saw he was back from the dead, I had to make sure he never returned. This looks tricky. This, I can see why you died here. Well, I didn't die on that. I died getting from that to the... So this bit, I hate this bit. That treasure chest there, I hate getting that. Gotta get good. You said I was good earlier. Gotta get great. I think you're... I think... There you go. Offer that cash money. I'm right. Mole! Ah. Uh oh. Do you see the skill there? Got the music sheet. Yep. Very impressive, Nathan. Thank you. Well, that's it for this part. Bye. See you never.